Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another review. Uh, this time it is not a Godzilla figure, but rather a FNAF figure from Funko. A new, f uh, I think this thing, how old is this figure? Uh, I don't know actually. I mean, it should say right on the bottom. Uh, copyright 2017, so 2017 is what I'm assuming. Uh, so yeah, my name is Matthew, and I'm joined by Sonic Gaming 1991, and he's going to be in charge of this review, so Yay. take it away. Well, anyways, thank you, Matthew, for the introduction. Um, first of all, he's very shiny. I'm pretty sure all of the pops are like that. But this, it's but I like that it's shiny because the Funtime animatronics and plus Ballora and Baby were extremely shiny um only the head moves and sadly bon bon can't move which is a real big shame he the details on him are good cuz look at the micro the microphone has good detail the Bonbon bon has good detail besides being a puppet and having a bit of bad paint. Um, paint. Whoa, he's really shiny. Okay. Um. One time, Freddy's speak voice boxes has a lot of detail. And also, his joints are yellow. Eh, whatever. Uh. <coughs> I guess they were just too, Funko was just too lazy to paint the joints silver. Well, given the price of this thing, I don't think they're going to go all out with the paint. Because, I mean, bringing another uh, figure that's supposed to have like, a lot of paint, Mechagodzilla, which is more recent, he really only has like paint across the dorsal fins and the eyes right here, and that's kind of about it. Even on his uh, second version, the one with the proton scream, that's all the red that's on him. You'd think he'd have red all over the body. Anyways, continue. Anyways, um... He, he can't really turn his head all the way around because of Bon Bon's hand. And... For... Do I go into size? Well, I guess so. Uh, okay. he, well, this one's not really size comparison, but more putting just uh, put your hand out of the shot. Uh, here he is with some other Robos that we got for Funkos, uh, with one time uh, Freddy with uh, Nightmare Foxy and Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs Kong. Um, which one is your favorite out of the three? Um, fun time Freddy. Which one's your least favorite? Mecha Godzilla. I feel like you're only saying that because he's Godzilla. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, um, personally, do I recommend him? I think I do. Like, if you're a FNAF fan, which chances are you probably are, um, go right ahead. Uh, pick this thing up, assuming they can find a good price on the frame at the aftermarket, because a lot of these older Funko Pops are vaulted. But, I mean, hey, that's, uh, that's alright. Anyways, uh, that's all I have to say. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, Mecha Godzilla would be at, would actually be way taller than One Time Freddy and Nightmare Foxy if he was standing up all the way. Well, yeah, like the if, Funko Pop. Well, like if we're <laughs> talking about actual scale here, these guys would be about about like five six at most seven feet. I know he's like canonically five feet or like, six feet. Yeah, One Time Freddy's like f yeah like six like six foot one or something or like five Mecha Godzilla. Foot. Mecha Godzilla's like canonically. 400 feet so yeah that's a big uh animatronic right there well the pops anyways uh that's all i have for this video if you guys liked it definitely subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time peace out everyone